Love and Light Collective, welcome back to Kiara's Love Tarot. I truly appreciate each and every last one of you beautiful, intelligent, loving, ascending, awakening, growing souls that have came across my channel and that is coming back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to the family. If you've been here, welcome home, loves. Thank you guys for tapping into my video and seeing what it is that I have to say on this beautiful Wednesday. Although... My reading is timeless, so if you come across this reading and it's not Wednesday, that's fine, okay? Whenever you run across this video or whenever it pops up or suggests or recommends the video to you, that's when you're meant to hear it, okay? Please keep in mind, though, this is a general reading. I'm pulling free energies from the universe, okay, or just from all around, and there's not a name on here. So only take what's yours because I know that my readings may hit like a personal sometimes. Please like, share, and subscribe my, to my channel and share my video, like my video, comment if any anything in this video resonates with you. Jeez, I cannot talk today. Or either I'm talking too damn much, but clearly I'm talking too damn much because my voice is back on its raspy shit, okay? Sometimes my voice be changing. One minute it'll be smooth, silky, and just calming, and then the next minute it's raspy and soothing. So... I don't know, I guess I'm in, my voice is in a raspy energy or somebody could be doing a lot of yelling, okay? A lot of um, screaming at the top of their lungs to where they're losing their voice. That could be you, that could be your person, okay? If you're in a third party situation, it could be your person and someone else or you and your person screaming at each other about someone else. Um, and by the way, I read for all energies, third parties, single people, people that are in a relationship with just them. So I pull different scenarios. So only take what's your situation. Okay, but my, me, I, my voice has been gone like for the last four days. And for the last four days, someone could just be really going, be going back and forth with their person. Okay, and before I um, started recording, I had shuffled this new deck that i got um called the modern witch tarot deck it is so pretty and i had seen a few readers with this with these decks and i just was like these is them are some gorgeous cards i want to try it so i'm gonna be using this new deck in my deck shout out to the readers that have already have this deck um it's a real pretty deck and for those of you guys that is trying to read tarot and learn tarot, I will read the definitions out for you guys so that you guys can learn and take notes on the um, cards. But it is called the Modern Witch Deck. Okay. But I got the Four of Wands in reverse. And then I got the Lover's card that had came out. And then I pressed record. So I'm not going to pull any more cards. I'm going to pull a card for the feelings around the situation because... Somebody's definitely doing a lot of yelling. Okay. We got period effects popping out. Child. What else is going on? So, as I'm pulling these cards, we got, I've been taking on all this baggage, adding on so much weight, okay? So, somebody, with me saying that somebody has been doing a lot of arguing, okay, a lot of yelling, a lot of um, getting a point across, this could be somebody who's been blocking their throat chakra for a while, okay, meaning not 
being able to express their true feelings about how they truly feeling in a situation or how something has made them feel for a long time or how they have been affected heavily, how it's changed them, how it's changed their mind, how it's changed their body, their soul. Somebody has been holding on to a lot. Okay, and it could have made them gain weight or it could just simply be a heavy weight on their shoulders. Somebody could literally have stiff shoulders. Like if you were to, if somebody were to put their hands on your shoulders, you will feel blocks of stress on your shoulder blades. Okay, somebody is stressed the hell out in a relationship 24 7. Okay, and money invo is involved in the situation, but also somebody could be praying. Um, for money to come their way so that they can get out of a situation that's making them have a lot of weight, a lot of baggage on their shoulders. Okay, somebody could be thinking about taking out a loan for anywhere between a thousand and fifteen thousand dollars, or somebody realizes that they've invested fifteen thousand dollars into a relationship just completely and totally. Okay, this could have been a short term relationship or this could be a long term relationship, but somebody could have got $15,000 out of somebody in a relationship or something close to it or a little more of it, more than that. But somebody is starting to realize that somebody looks at them as dollar signs and that they're just some sort of payout. Somebody also feels like they use spending money on them as something as a distraction. Somebody realizes that. They left their child unattended or was not focusing on their children good enough or or how they should have due to a lover's energy, okay? Due to an energy that is um, undescribable, something that felt spiritual to somebody, something that felt divinely guided or something that felt um, like it just is, this is how it's supposed to be. It was meant to be. It was set up like this. Okay, somebody felt like um, they were bonded. And then we got the period sex card coming out, okay? They can't wait. They want it whenever. So this connection that I'm describing could simply be somebody who um, was heavily into you, okay? With this lover's energy coming out, that's a strong, strong magnetic connection, okay? That is something um, that's not easily broken. Something that you can't just shake off easy, okay? This is somebody who felt like somebody was their soulmate. Somebody felt this was a perfect union or this could have appeared to be the perfect union or somebody could be fighting to maintain an image of a perfect union with somebody, a partnership, okay? Somebody um, also made a major choice to invest a lot of time into this lover's energy, this partnership, and this partnership also had a heavy sex connection, okay? And because I'm picking up that heavy sex connection, give me kind of, give me cards to kind of describe this sex connection between this relationship that I'm describing, I'm channeling. So we're just trying to give me a lot of cards today. Okay, a very teasing type of person, okay? Somebody who's really intimate. This could be somebody who's into your hips, okay? Somebody whose birthday is on the ninth month. So somebody that's in a, whose birthday could be in September, possibly a Virgo, okay? This could be somebody who likes, you know, neck stimulation or licking your neck or somebody could be thinking about licking on your neck. But then we got this period sex card that had popped out um, regarding to the love, lover's card. They can't wait. They want it whenever. So this could be somebody who wouldn't even give you a chance to get off your period or isn't giving somebody a chance to get off their period before they're trying to get in their draws. Okay, or somebody's feeling like, I don't even care if you're on your period. Like if you've been beefing with your person or y'all ain't talking, they feeling like, look, I don't even care that you're on your period. Let me do it with you. Let me do it to you standing up, whatever. I feel like somebody is gonna not going to care that animals is around or anything like that. They just want to do it to you. Also, somebody's coming to you wanting to put the sword down. Okay, this sword represents betrayal in this relationship. I feel like somebody realizes that nobody can do it like you. 
no matter how many individuals they try to connect with outside of y'all sexual connection, y'all sexual chemistry, they desire your soul, okay? They have a huge love and attraction for you. And I feel like while this person's been separated from you, they've been learning to love themselves and they're trying to understand themselves. They're trying to understand you more. I feel like that was a blockage in the relationship. They didn't take the time out to understand you, okay? Or they felt like your needs wasn't as important or as vital as their needs was at a point. So they never paid attention to what soothed you. But when it came down to that sexual connection or when it was time to drop them drawers, they knew how to up, uh, um, complete the assignment every time. And I pick up that you did as well. Okay, somebody's trying to balance something out with you in this situation. They want to make it work. Now, if you're single... Because this card came out, this could, and if you're single leaving this situation, this could represent a new person coming in, um, bringing you this energy, okay? Bringing you this magnetic connection, this soulmate energy, um, coming in with, with a, a heavy chemistry energy. Now, I'm not saying they want to just get in your pants, but sex is definitely something they're going to be excited about with you, okay? Um, but I feel like for some, they'll be able to wait. When you tell them you're not ready for it, they're not going to pressure you because they're not dating you just for the sex. They're dating you because this is a spiritual union that is being presented in your life um, that you could have manifested or have been praying for or have asked for or simply have been uh, have manifested and been running away from it. Because I pick up somebody's been manifesting a, um, a deep soul connection with somebody that knows how to treat them right, that understands them and understands their self as well. Not just sexually, but mentally, physically, financially, somebody that knows what they got to come through the door doing for you. I feel like some of you guys been manifesting that, but got to a point where you like, I don't care for a relationship and you kind of been dodging seekers that's coming into your life. But there's definitely a connection that's going to knock you off your feet. Okay. Could knock you off balance a little bit. Not in a negative way though. Just have you so like, wow, is this the real fucking deal? Is this really happening? Can I trust this person? It might have you getting readings for about this person to make sure they're not coming in with no BS. Okay, but if you're going through a situation with somebody and it's toxic and it's um, all over the place, um, another reason why you guys may not be able to break ties between each other is could be because there may have been a time you guys did have period sex or you did have sex at the end of your period, like when it was turning brown or when it was no longer in a full-blown period. Either way, they still got some of your DNA. You guys did a DNA transfer, and it's that's kind of like a ritual. It's kind of like a bonding ritual, okay? Blood is involved. So this could also be why the relationship could be very toxic, very undesirable at the current moment. Okay, but you guys can't seem to shake each shake each other's energy. It it kind of got both of you guys feeling like this is it for me. Like I don't want to date right now. Like if somebody just went through a breakup and you guys know the love is mutual, no matter if it was a third party situation, if it was toxic, if it was you and them, and you guys are separated right now, it's like you guys are both like, damn. This is something I just can't shape no matter who I try to converse with to keep you off my mind, no matter how, who I try to think about, who I try to have sex with, who I go on a date with. The energy is just not giving what it's supposed to give. And this is because somebody has a deep lover's bond, okay? Somebody's feeling heartfelt. Somebody could be having a hand on their heart. Okay, a lot like somebody literally could be feeling a, a pain in their chest. Somebody could be expressing to their family member or could, somebody could be upset because somebody feels like a family's opinion or a family member's opinion or just a family giving them advice on the type of person they should spend their time with or spend their, invest their time into or build with. They feel like they took that advice and it ruined things, okay, in a connection or them trying to mold you or mold a situation to be of the expectations of families of a family's um energy or of a family's 
viewing um, ruined it. Somebody could have been trying to force a partner to be a certain way to impress a family. And it, this partner just like, I'm not on that type of time. I'm not going to change me or I'm not going to change what I believe in or what I'm into or the type or the way I do things or how I want to raise my kids or anything because your mom doesn't like it or because your mom or your aunt or your cousin or your grandpa or anybody has a opinion on how people that come from their family or their bloodline should live their life. That could have been a situation for somebody. Also, somebody could simply just do you bogus as hell or has dogged you out or has done you bogus and a family has watched it too long, okay? Or somebody's to the point where they have your child or has somebody has somebody's child more than the parent has their child or the parents have their child. And it's got a family pissed. And there's a family that's not willing to, okay, this connection is unbreakable, okay? Or this this connection just, no matter how many times you guys try to throw it away, um, unconnect the cord, remove yourself from the situation, it's like the energy is not um, dissipating, okay? It's not breaking. The bond is not breaking. And I feel like somebody's deciding to get their shit together because they are attached to you and they can't see past you. They can't see they self dealing with anybody else on that level or with, or they don't think, or they finally realize what you said was true. If you've told your person, you'll never find someone like me ever again, or find somebody that deals with you like me or do it like me or something in that nature. They see that that's the fucking truth. Okay. You wasn't lying. And they're trying to get their shit together for you, but they feel they may feel like they don't feel it fit in in your circle anymore, or they may feel like friends are upset, like close friends that you have that have been around your person is upset. Okay, they don't want to be bothered with them. They feel like even if this, if even if they did try to come back to you, or they feel like kind of overwhelmed with trying to work this out with you because they feel like they've shitted and stepped in it way too much and at this point family members are not of accepting as accepting of them or is not going to be accepting of them coming around they feel like someone's family is going to make it hard for the two of you guys to come come together or you may feel like this or they're feeling like this or if they're in a third party situation and they're not with you this could be happening with them and the person that they're with or dealing with heavy or it could be happening with you but i feel like somebody's family has had enough of your person or of a person in a relationship okay um you know if that card came out in the upright it would represent happy families reunions coming home celebrations surprises things like that weddings and events and stuff you know somebody feeling like welcome in a situation but it came out in reverse so that person is not that's a it's a representing an unhappy family okay and since i'm saying it's representing a happy family this can also be a relationship that is no longer happy okay somebody hates walking through the door or there's no talking or there it could somebody may feel better when they're alone or better when their person is gone um Somebody could be canceling a celebration or canceling on a family reunion. So there could be a relationship that um, does like parties for families or there could be like a specific, you know, resort that people do, you know, this a group of friends do as a couple's resort or just something that's traditional that's done every year. And that could be getting canceled this year in a relationship. And that's going to make a statement for a relationship and for family, okay? I also feel like somebody may, um, you know, say peace on a relationship that is pulling them apart from another relationship or somebody's thinking about doing it, but they feel like um, there's too many opinions in the situation, which is the only thing that's stopping them from performing their actions that I'm describing at this moment because they feel like, what does it matter? Um, she'll never forgive me or he'll never forgive me. Okay, somebody feels really divided from you right now or you made somebody feel 
um, unwelcome recently, okay? So if you share children with somebody or somebody came to pick up their stuff, somebody could have just felt, you know, like they were being watched, like they were being talked about when they pulled off or left. You know, maybe somebody had somebody's family at the house with them while somebody came and picked up their stuff because somebody could have a history of putting their hands on somebody in a relationship or putting their hands on somebody when they get angry. There could be a breakup happening so somebody could have their family there to make sure somebody don't put their hands on somebody. Okay, somebody is feels like they're being jilted. And somebody could also feel like this act this behavior or this activity is coming of a surprise because something could have went from great, good, bad to horrible real quick in a matter of days or a matter of weeks or somebody just felt like they were they were better than this in a relationship or or it was going to get better or they were doing better okay this card in the, the this card the four of wands coming out in reverse can represent neglect instability secure insecurity and being transient or uprooted it tells you that you may experience self-doubt and that your self-esteem may be low, okay? Somebody could be feeling low self-esteem or if you're dissing somebody that you normally have a hard time um, resisting, okay? Like I said, like this woman looks like, you know, she can't resist this person. It feels like somebody uses sex to get back into somebody's good graces all the time okay um when you're trying to talk about the problems they just want to come on to you and you can't get out what you need to say because you have this heavy lover's energy with them you got this twin flame energy the soulmate energy okay or for somebody it could be a karmic energy a karmic sex energy okay there's also karmic sex ties too where the sexual connection is karmic for you guys is vibration yet you're avatars which is your human body is addicted to the frequency that you guys create when you have sex which creates a karmic sex tie i've never heard of that but that just came through to me okay um or somebody feels like this is their way to show you that they care for you they their only way of showing you or the only way they're able to show you right now how they feel about you is through sex okay Somebody could be feeling insecure because they may have tried to come on to you or they may have tried to insinuate something sexual or get to make a pass at you recently and you turned them down or you completely just ignored it and it made them feel low self-esteem or they could have a partner that's putting them down, you know, or somebody could be finally standing up to their partner when they usually don't speak on how they feel or they usually don't you know, um, humble they person. Somebody could be humbling somebody. Like somebody could be getting told the truth right now about the way they really are in a relationship and how it's fucked up. They need to grow up. They need to get their shit together. There could be a divided family right now. There could be kids pairing up with one parent against another parent because they're tired of seeing one parent be abused or mistreated, misused, disrespected. Because like this child car, this child and attended car says, somebody's not focusing on their child. They're focusing more on why their relationship ain't working and how to keep it working or how to keep it from falling. And they're not paying attention to their children. Children could be in the kitchen warming shit up or having to fend for themselves or somebody simply not cooking dinner because they're so depressed. They don't have time to cook dinner because they got so much responsibilities on their chest because they're carrying all this baggage, all this weight because they may have a lot of responsibilities from a partner in a relationship while a partner could be out living his life, sleeping with other individuals, seducing other individuals or secretly in love with another individual while another partner is enduring another enduring all their problems, their money issues, their baggage, children, while somebody else is out living free, having the best sex in their life, doing them. It's a bunch of scenarios that's popping up. Somebody don't love somebody no more, okay? This card, I just feel like, although somebody's holding someone's hand there, they, they're looking at another individual as a God in their life, okay? So if you're in a third party situation and you're watching this and your person has somebody else, you could be a God in their mind, okay? Or in their life, 
or a blessing, an angel, they look at you like gold that's shining. Okay, they can't keep their focus off of you while they in the household with another person or holding someone else's hand. Got bills with somebody else. Okay. If you're with somebody, if you're with a person and y'all together and they're dealing with somebody else on the other side, you may have kicked their ass out, put their ass out, had your family or somebody come and, and be there for you while you removed, have this person removed or just simply have support around you, keeping you strong from going back to this person. And you're forcing them to be with who they thought was better than you. And while they're with this person, they don't even want to hold this, this energy's hand. They don't even want to, to cuddle with this side energy or this energy that was around because they're so busy thinking about how they hurt you and how that made you feel and how what it's going to make you do what you could do what you would have the right to do if you wanted to do it they're thinking about all those things they're thinking about how y'all kids is invested in this or kids are invested or simply kids are just being mistreated. Simply somebody could be in a relationship with someone that doesn't make their family feel welcome or they couldn't be making them. So there could be somebody in a relationship with somebody that's only in a relationship with them, not in a relationship with them and their kids. And what I mean by that is accepting their kids into their situation. Because in order to love me, you got to love everything that come with me. And that's my children off top. Okay, so somebody may be being in a relationship that they feel is their twin flame soulmate and this person ain't accepting their children and they're okay with it. These children are being affected by that because this person is only tapping into the mother or the father, but making children feel unaccepted, unwanted. What else is happening? Spirit? Give me another card for this situation. I ain't like the men you used to suck in your teeth at. Trust me, I'll humble your mean ass. So somebody wanted to humble you. This could be why somebody um, isn't showing you. Look, we got to get an abortion. Okay, somebody um, wanted to humble you. Okay, you could have, like I said, somebody looks at you like you're a god. Okay, you're the best thing they ever had. You're the best woman they ever had in their life. Or you're the best man they ever had in their life. The best man they'll ever have in their life. Or the best woman they'll ever have in their life. They know this. They know what they had. They may have not have showed you in their actions. May have not have showed you. But this is somebody that you were dealing with that was immature or is immature. But they're trying to come out of this energy. But it may be too late for certain connections. And it may be what brings certain connections back together. But... Somebody felt like because you were way too good for you, good for them, and you were better than them, they literally feel like you're better than them. You may know they know this, but you may not take heed to it because you're looking at what they're doing to you, which that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to believe what you see. But at the same time, secretly, this person really feels for you deeper than you believe, deeper than they've ever told you. They friends know, they family know, and this is why somebody family friends or influencers have influenced this connection so much or influenced your person how to deal with you because they didn't know how to deal with you because you're not something they've ever had to deal with. This is why they wanted to do you bogus to train you. They're used to dealing with low vibrational, low IQ, succubus, jezebel, incubus energies, things that are control. I mean, energies that are easily controlled, but you came in the scene and you swift, you shifted everything. Okay. And they felt offended by how perfect you were or by the or how they had or how they knew they had to be careful with you. So they felt they needed to humble your mean ass because you're the type of woman or the type of man that makes people fall in love just because you're you or just off conversations. So they wanted to show you that you can be brought down to the the lowest as well. Also, somebody could be getting told get an abortion, okay? And this could be because somebody doesn't want a future with you. Okay, or you could be telling somebody you're going to get an abortion. So just not because you really mean it, but because you just want to make somebody feel sorry or feel sympathy for you. Somebody could be saying, how are you pregnant? We had par sex while you were on your period. Or somebody could simply have gotten pregnant off period sex. And is now being told to be get an abortion, okay? Because somebody feels like they was just fucking. They didn't think it was going to go this far. And they're not being a man of their word. Or simply somebody has a situation and, it, and this right here, a baby could be getting, could be tearing up foundation down because somebody's 
out fucking around so much, okay? And they didn't brought a baby in a situation. Or it could simply be somebody's mad because they were in a relationship with someone that they thought was their twin flame or just the end all be all of their love connection. Somebody felt like this is who they can't, they can't see themselves being with nobody else but someone. But this someone. Sorry. And this someone showed them a form of disloyalty by possibly reproducing outside of them, okay? And somebody could be offended by the connection that the person that they're in a relationship with has with someone that they conceived a child with. Somebody could be feeling betrayed because they're not pressing someone to get an abortion, which is making somebody feel like they have feelings for someone. They're like, oh, well, why aren't you selling her to, to get rid of the baby? You must want a future. You must feel like you like this person. Someone, and this could be causing arguments. That could be a situation that's happening. Somebody feels like they love somebody. Or somebody could be telling somebody, I love you. How could you do this to me? Okay, then we got, I wish I could have... I could share my good news with you. So somebody could feel like a baby coming into this world with somebody is great news. Okay, but... If they're in a relationship with someone else while this is happening, they feel like they can't sh show how excited they are about this new baby coming into the world because it's hurting someone that really cares for them and that really loves them. But somebody's excited as hell to have excited as hell to have a baby on the way with someone. We got I bury myself and work to for to. Re I bury myself in work to forget you, okay? So somebody, it came out in reverse. So somebody's no longer um, trying to work the pain away. They're ready to face it, deal with it, reach out to you, contact you. Because we got, I was working late, okay? Somebody could have been really working their ass off to stay out of the way, to stay out of, to avoid having conversations about a situation that involves cheating or a baby being brought up in a situation or neglection of a child. But now with this, I was working late coming out. And then with this, I buried myself in work in reverse. This is letting me know somebody is no longer running away from the pain. They're going to face it head on. Okay. Somebody feels like they going to try to flip the situation and victimize themselves in the situation and say, I be giving, I put my all into the situation. If I make mistakes, oh, well, somebody's coming at somebody's in a situation like, oh, well, we got iPhones, Android. Somebody's asking to go through their phone or somebody simply could be watching this video on Android or iPhone or have several phones. Somebody could have several phones or somebody could be getting ready to give somebody with an Android or an iPhone, okay? We got, is it bad that I never made love? And then we got, I ain't like the men you suck in your teeth that I humble your mean ass. Them is the same songs, different decks. This is song lyrics, song lyrics, okay? So somebody could be listening to, is it bad that I never made love? No, I never did, but I should know how to I be a bad girl. Okay, somebody could be thinking about turning from a good girl to a bad girl. Somebody could be thinking about this relationship has scarred them so much. They're at the place where they just would rather fuck around with people because they can't risk getting cheated on or getting their heart broken ever again. Okay. Somebody also feels like they got a motherfucker that's going to love them forever. Somebody's walking away from a connection that did them dirty, that played them out, that they, they were betrayed in, um, left behind in, gaslighted, given very much narcissist energy the whole time so many and so many more things okay but somebody feels like they're walking away knowing with pride that they was the best thing that ever happened in somebody's life and somebody feels like i got a nigga that's gonna love me for life he loved my mind and he and i was fucking him right but i had to cut off his life okay that's lyrics from this new song called join him um by ken the men go listen to that but also that that little line represents a lot, you know. For, for she was a good woman to this person, and for that, he gonna love her for life. For Roy, because he was not just in love with her, he was in love with her mind, and also she had a sexual strong chemistry his chemistry history with him, and just magnetic soul tie with this person, regardless. But although that connection and that magnetic tie was deep, she had to cut off his life, meaning she had to remove herself from the situation. She had to disconnect his life from hers. Okay. 
And that is you guys' reading. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If this reading resonated or any situation that I channeled resonates with you, make sure you comment that below. Show me some love. Do not forget to like this video. Love and light.